Yo, what is good YouTube? My name is Baha Flex. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a rhinestone design for any of your um, logo or your, any pieces that you're going to make for your clothing brand. So this video, I'm going to go over just how to make a pattern and just using it for your mock-up and everything. All right. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use a beanie. I'm going to do like a rhinestone. All right. Now make a new project. Put 200 width and the height 200. This is going to be for your pattern. Once you're done with that, make sure to change the color and any like any color you want. It can't be black though. Don't put black. So I don't recommend black. Don't put white either. Just pick like pick any color you want instead of black and white like that. Do like this safety orange basically. Okay, now you're gonna have to get your rhinestone pattern. Since I already have it here, it's from Adobe stock. I don't care if they're gonna sue me or I don't think I think it's free. That's whatever. I have it right here. This little pattern. If you can't find this pattern on Google. I'll leave a link down below in the description for you can just download it right, right, right off the back so you don't have to fucking search it up. But for now, I'm just going to drag this image and leave it like that. Once you leave it like this, make sure to uh, just delete the the background of the rhinestone pattern. And leave it like this and delete this little flare right here, little shine. And yeah, that should be good. Now, once you're done with that, just go to your edit and click on define new and put pattern and you already meet the pattern from the rhinestone very simple right now i'm gonna make a new project so i could show you guys how it looks like i dragged in my logo it looks like this i have a clothing brand so make sure to go in the description down below to check it out it's really cool and yeah this is reveal my fear so now once you put your logo or anything or any design you need just put put it down Put rasterize it. Uh, double click the right here. Go to pattern, and then go over here. I already have this pattern, but I have this one now. Here it is. This is the one we have. And now just make sure to make sure, like, to scale it out. So yeah, make sure to scale it out. Make it better. I think this is good. Let me check see how it looks like okay a little bit more okay just trying to just take time for this part just trying to find the best like scale so like around right here yeah this is fine like that even though there's little spaces <laughs> but it's just fine like that so yeah this is good right here and now what you need to do, go to this little wand right here and change it to uh, object selection. And show image analysis. Now go to select, go to color range. Let's put color range, let it load for a bit. And make sure to put the fitness, the fuzziness, fuzziness, put that to around 200. And then for, and then once this little, when you put 200, just put enter. Let it expand for a bit like that. And now this little cursor, go to the orange, like the orange color. So go to the orange color right here. There we go. Now it's gonna show like this. I press OK. It's gonna select the orange part from the design. Now right click this and put inverse. And once you put it in inverse, pick the mask option, and there it is. And there's your rhinestone design. Very simple to do. Now I'm gonna put this in my mock-up. Let me save this real quick. As I'm gonna delete the pattern like that. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna delete the background. I'll make it as a PNG. Put rhinestone pattern. I'll call it. I'll put stone logo. I guess I'm gonna put like that. I'm gonna put save. And there you have it, guys. Your little rhinestone up or a little rhinestone pattern all right if you guys want any more tutorials on this in general just photo photo pl or any like you know design tutorials please leave a like down below and comment down what you guys think about this video and i'm out peace out